Hi and welcome to these videos on Adobe InDesign CC Advanced Tips and Tricks. There's a whole lot of useful information in here that you're not going to find easily in books. Things like RGB and CMYK blending modes, how to create and save table formatting, how to put images into type, type on a path, all kinds of useful stuff. If you like it, this is my company and this is my website. Please visit me there and if you're kind enough to give me your feedback, I will get back to you. Being able to track changes is a very useful editorial tool. It's been very useful for me. So if I'm doing some freelance work for a client, I'll put it all together, then I'll send it back to them for approval. And sometimes they want to make some changes to the text, and they send it back to me. And I need to be able to see what they've changed. And this is how you can do it in InDesign. So here we've got a little bit of rubbish text. And I've got the type tool selected, and I'm just going to click inside that. And there's the cursor flashing away. Now that means that InDesign knows what chunk of type I'm talking about. So if I go to Window, Editorial, Track Changes, there's the Track Changes window. Now once I've got a cursor in some type, I can click on this button, which means I'm going to track the changes. And that means I'm going to be able to see them. So let's make a couple of changes. Uh, I'm going to delete the word now and then change that lowercase i to a capital I. And then at the end, I'm going to add a little bit of a question. Now I'm going to go to Edit, Edit in Story Editor. This is not my favorite window in InDesign, but for tracking changes, it's downright useful. So if I click in the type say here, before the first change occurred, then in the Track Changes window I can say, go find the next change. And that's the first change it's found, the capital I that I put in to replace the lowercase i. So I'm going to accept that. Go to the next one. And that's the deleted now and the lowercase i. And I'm going to accept that as well. And then go to the next one. I'm going to say no to that change. Now you notice that at the beginning of every line where there is a change, there's this cyan highlight. And it first shows me the changes in orange, and then when it finds them, it highlights them in blue. Or if I say, no, I don't want this one, it deletes it, and a couple of seconds later, the InDesign document updates as well. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's very easy to track changes, whether they're additions or deletions. So I hope you liked that video. I hope it's really helpful to you. And if you think it might be, please do visit my website. Send me your feedback. I will respond. You can also find links to all the places that host the full course if you're interested and a lot more stuff besides. What have you got to lose?